on the cusp of something absolutely incredible and we know it. You can feel it. You're doing something in us as we march our way to Good Friday and march our way up to Easter, Resurrection Sunday. We feel like you're doing something that's powerful and transformational in us. New fire, new glory, new grace. You're doing a new thing. Wow. Wow. Uh, prophetically, your current surroundings are not even large enough to contain the multiplication that's coming to your life. The multiplication of in influence and just the multiplication of you. There are things that, that will not fit you anymore. You need more space. You need more room. You need more. Oh, Rabbi. That's why you got to crucify your flesh because your flesh tries to contain your spirit. And you got to keep killing your flesh so that your spirit is not restricted. Jesus had to destroy one body because what was in him was too big for the body that was on him. What is in you is too big for the surroundings that are on you. That's why you can't get too attached to surroundings. Hey. And yes, family and friends, it is scary. And it is lonely. Ramanasa. Listen. Listen. Your surroundings are like a covering. It's like your covering. And the wider you become, the more you become, your surroundings change because they can no longer cover you. Think about it. Your surroundings surround you, which means that you can be contained in your surroundings. Well, what happens when God increases you? Your surroundings have to change. And so sometimes what we do is, is we sacrifice our increase in order to maintain a surrounding. And I just sense, family, I just, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying, I'm I past time and like I'm all, structure's all messed up and everything right now. But like what, what I, I, I felt, I was telling my wife, I'm like, God wants to do something. There's something that, there's like a breakout that, that needs to, you know what I mean? There's something that just, that, that God wants to do and, and, it's, and he's not going to do it. What I saw more than anything was you pressing into it. He's not going to do it. He's already, God's, he's already vast. He doesn't have to change the surrounding. It's you and you have to be sensitive enough and connect it instinctually, I think I made up a word, but it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, did I say it right? Instinctually, instinctively, thank you. Instinctively, <laughs> you have to be connected on the inside <laughs> with, with the unspoken, unlearned instincts to move. I don't think that, that this voice from heaven, this loud voice from heaven is going to come down and say, you need to change this around. I don't think it's going to happen like that. I think that instinctively, you're going to just move. And, and you're going to trust the environment to be the right environment when you get there. You understand what I'm saying? It's like what God told Abraham in Genesis. He said, get out of your father's house and out of your country and away from your family. And then he said, 
to a land that I will show you. Look at the gap. Here's a gap. This is family, country, environment. Family, country, environment. Get out. Boom. Get out. Leave this to a land that I will show you. So there's a gap. Leave. Boom. There's a gap between where you left and where you headed, and you have to be comfortable in that gap. And that gap can be lonely. That gap can be scary. But God is with you in that gap. He's with you in that gap. And the reality of it is you need that gap so that some of your family stuff and some of your country stuff and some of your past stuff can leave you before you get to where God is taking you. Are you hearing me? Something beautiful, something beautiful happens in the gap. We want, we want, we want, we want. Okay, God, if I'm going to leave this, then let me step instantly into the land that you will show me. And God's like, "Mm mm-mm. Because the reality of it is, it takes you longer to leave than you think. You might leave it, but it doesn't leave you. And you can't take it into where he's taking you. Or you will contaminate it with what was. So, so you have to walk out of it and then walk it out of you in the gap. It's in the gap where it's scary. In the gap where it's lonely. In the gap where it's costly, Rabbi. Listen, everything in the gap costs faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So everything in the gap is expensive. Over here, you didn't need any faith. You see everything, and you know everything. But in the gap, everything you acquire, you acquire by faith. Everything. The gap. And here's the truth. Let me tell you the truth about the gap. And I've been, and I, I know that this gap, I know all that. That's my whole life. Well, since I've been walking with God, it's been uh, gap, gap, yeah, gap, gap. And I'll be honest with you. The best place, honestly, is the gap. It is. I ain't going to lie. It's not the most comfortable place. It's not the most peaceful place. (laughs) But as it relates to like who I am and when I'm really looking more like God and really close and connected to God, like honestly, if I'm going to tell the truth, the real, 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 it's not in the promised land. Even though I love the promised land, I can kick it in the promised land. It's amazing in the promised land. Everybody wants there. But to be honest with you, the best version of me Maya, it's in the gap. I ain't gonna lie. I'll tell you the truth. There's just stuff that happens in the gap, Brunus, that you don't get nowhere else. It's 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 the realest of life where you're forced to let God be God. It's it's, God oftentimes is optional. Can we just have a real conversation? I I messed all up time and everything, but, but like honestly, like, 75% 75% of the time, most of the time, like, God is low-key optional. He's not, but we feel like he is. But in the gap, <laughs> he ain't optional in the gap, baby. <laughs> he is critical. Come on, somebody. He is mandatory. 
<laughs> oh! And when you're in a space where God is mandatory, where he is mandatory, he is more manifest. That's why it says that those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Keep swimming. Keep, keep, keep going. The further you are away from shore, the closer you are to God. Amen. Keep swimming. You, you, we rely on shore too much. So God, I don't exactly know what you're doing, but I know that you're drawing us closer. Wow, there's power in this room. Ooh. I just walk through here and just feel power all over this room. Each person, silos of great power. Boom, 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 boom. Just silos of power and destiny. And God wants to fill you up. Boom. Father, Lord, these are your sons and daughters, and you know them better than anybody. Guide us throughout these next minutes that we spend together that we might be accurately aligned with what you are doing. Father, you're calling us to the gap. And give us the faith and the strength to go there, knowing that that's where divinity is reproduced. Bless us. In Jesus' name.